He that believeth. So the topic is believe, right? He that believes. He that believeth in the Lord uh -huh. taketh heed to the commandment. To what? Taketh heed to the commandment. Now give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. We're going to give you a commandment, sis. This, you know the first five books, right? In the Bible. Who wrote those first five books? Huh? You tell me. Moses. Okay. Moses wrote the law, right? To give to the people. When he read Deuteronomy 1 and 1, he said he was talking to the children of Israel. Who are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? That's right. You are the children of Israel. That's, That's right. right. Watch this, sis. This is what Moses was telling the people. Since, hey, since you had a question. Oh, no, I was, letting him know, oh, I was letting him know he was wondering why. I said, oh, I do believe in God. I believe in Hulk, Messiah, and everything, right? But he was wondering why I didn't wear the dress all the time. Right. For so one thing, in my job, I cannot wear the dress all the time. The other thing, I get ready to go somewhere. It's cold. It stays cold. It is freezing up there, and I am not wearing the dress because... You working today? Well, no, I'm, I'm not working today. Oh, okay. Actually, I'm doing my running to get ready to leave. So that's not an excuse. Yeah, it ain't an excuse. Do you know? Do you know the punishment for not wearing the dresses? No, no. Well, we're gonna get the law on the well, first. You know all right. Hold on. If, Let me get the, the law. The punishment is bigger than cancer, and I didn't beat cancer because of him. Hey, it's all because of him. Well, let's see, sis. So let's see if you're gonna beat this. Yeah. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. Bring it out. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So a woman don't want, supposed to wear that which pertaineth to a man. Read. Neither. Shall a man put on a woman's garment? So no man should be walking around wearing women's garments. Read. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Hey, what? All, all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So how that do so are, are an abomination to the Lord thy God. Okay. You know what that means? Can I say something? I'm asking you, do you know what that means? No, so. because I'm not going to be an abomination if I choose to wear cancer garments the Lord says. Hold on, read that from the top of the yeah. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So God said you would, hold on. God said, oh, they have what? They have men kings, they have women kings. Can you tell me what verse that is? Because I missed no, that. No, that's my, my going into the store oh, purchasing that's Oh, the, uh, let me With the money I have to earn. Remember, it said a woman should not wear that which pertains to a man. So, so let's see, let's see who they made pants for. Okay. Okay. Thank y'all, though. Hello, sis. Oh, Remember, you, know oh, I, you ain't into right, right. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. Okay, after I'm, after I deal with these jeans, I'm gonna dress somewhere. Matter of fact, let me address it since it's in your mouth. Give me first count. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, get ready to go. Yeah, but hey, sis, you keep saying you beat cancer. Oh, I'm about to be around my grandson. She said you beat cancer. Oh, give me, hold, hold that, hold that on that pants. My will is not that strong unless his will is stronger, and his will is stronger, and when these, this tape come out of my mouth, it will be out of my mouth, because I asked him to take this tape from my mouth. So you think, you think the most high sparing you uh, while you in the midst of sin? Matter of fact, you think right. the most high hear you while you in the sin? You know. He hears me while, and through Everything. Give me John's nine and thirty. Let's yeah. find out. Do you are you are you going after your own heart or are you I going by according to the word of God? I'm going by heart. Oh, oh so let me ask you: should, should not the word of God me. mean more? He's done it through me. All right, let's see. He has done it through me, baby. Right, right. I done been through some battles. The book of John, chapter nine, verse thirty-one. Check this out. Listen, sis. The book of John, chapter nine, verse thirty-one. Now we know. That God heareth not sinners. God do what? Heareth not sinners. So God ain't been listening to you, sis. Understand that. Repent and he will. But, hey, sis, hey, sis. Oh, hold yeah. on one minute. Repent and he will. Hold on, sis, but one minute. You said, you said that you believe, right? You yeah. believe in God, right? Faithfully. Give me some rock. Faithfully. 32, verse 24. Faithfully. Those that believe does a certain thing. Most yes. I don't want you to, to go off your own thought or your own mind. Right. He just brought out to you Deuteronomy 22 5, which came out of God's word. Right. It said that the women should not be wearing pants, which pertain to a man, which is the pants. Just like if I saw a, a, a man walking down the street, if you saw a man walking down the street, right, and he had a dress on, what would you think of him? I 
That's another that's conception that you learned even up here on the stand. Right. Read what you got. Listen He's to this. Hey, judge. this is God's word, right? You say you believe, right? Watch what God says. Read. The book of Sirach, chapter 32, verse 24. Bring it out. He that believeth. So the topic is believe, right? He that believes. He that believeth in the Lord uh -huh. taketh heed to the commandment. To what? Taketh heed to the commandment. Now give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. We're going to give you a commandment, sis. This, you know the first five books, right, in the Bible. Who wrote those first five books? Huh? You tell me. Moses. Okay. Moses wrote the law, right, to give to the people. When he read Deuteronomy 1 and 1, he said he was talking to the children of Israel. Who are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? That's right. You are the children of Israel. That's, That's right. right. Watch this, sis. This is what Moses was telling the people. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. I know. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Pertaineth unto a man, meaning belongs to men, right? Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So he said the same thing for the, uh, the man. He said put on a woman's garment. Read. For all that do so are abomination. The officer here was just telling you women wear pants is an abomination to God. Right. He sees that thing as an abomination. Uh, give me what, uh, in Surah. It talks about uh, how God feels about abominations. This is how God feels about those abominations. Matter of fact, before you give me that, give me Zephaniah 1 and 8. Because you know us, we can't just wear anything we want. The things that, the, uh, our understanding, right? We get our understanding from the philosophies of our oppressors. Right. We learned that women wearing pants was okay. You said to this man, right? You said to the officer, said that there's women pants and men pants. There's no such thing as women pants. Right. right. They right. always belong to the men. Always. That's right. Even even when you go to the bathrooms, the restrooms, right? How do you know which one is a women's bathroom and which one is a men's bathroom? Look it out. Right. They got they got the pictures, right? And this is what we out here doing. What you see us doing is correcting our people, which was commanded by God. Right. Because right. there's certain judgments that's going to come upon you. If you do not, when Christ returns, there's things that's going to happen that our people must know. Right. Read. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 1, verse 8. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass uh -huh. in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. The day of the Lord's sacrifice, meaning when Christ returns to judge the earth. Read. Right. That I will punish the princes. He will what? I will punish. So the Christ is coming back to do something to somebody. A lot of the times our people think that Christ is coming back giving kisses and hugs. Right. He's not coming back to give kisses and hugs bring or bring peace to the earth. Right. Read. That I will punish the princes uh -huh. and the king's children uh -huh. and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. Because Christ, Moses gave us a law of clothing, apparel, a wear, a law. We're supposed to dress a certain way. Right. Right. But when Christ comes back, read it again. That I will punish the princes. Christ is going to what? Punish the princes uh -huh. and the king's children uh -huh. and all such as are clothed. As are clothed. With strange apparel. With strange apparel, sis. With strange apparel. We must change. We must change and return back to God's laws. And that's what we're trying to show our people. Right. Thank you. I'm going to let the officer hear back. Thank y'all. Uh -huh. But I understand. Hey, hold up, hold up, sis. Yeah, one minute, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Give me a... Uh, all right, check this out, sis. Remember, remember, sis, wearing pants is an abomination. Do you know what I asked you? Do you know what it means uh, when you break an uh, committing an abomination to God? Let's, let's find out. Sirach chapter 15, verse 13. Bring it out. The Lord hateth all abomination, and they that fear God love it not. They that fear God, what? Love it not. So, sis. Sis, you don't want to be committing any abominations. You right. know that yes, committing right. abominations you cannot get into the kingdom. Right, right. 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 You understand that? No. You understand that you can't get into the kingdom. Give me first Corinthians 3 and 17. No. So sis, you gotta understand something. We're showing you love today. You know, we're showing and you love. Right, right. And I understand that. Okay. Hey, I want That's you to hear this. I want you to hear this right here. Because you know okay. you said, mm -hmm. I want you to understand something. God is long suffering. You know, you think you beat cancer, then you can get hit by a car the next day. 
So, 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 so you got to understand something. Since memory said, take heed to the commandments. Right. I mean, when you hear uh, that you know you're in the midst of sin, that means uh, correct that thing. Read the book of First Corinthians, chapter three, verse sixteen. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? Your body is the temple of the Most High, right? Read. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. So the Spirit of the Most High dwells inside you, sis. You understand it, right? If any man defile the temple of God by smoking cigarettes, him shall God destroy. God shall destroy you. I understand that. So you keep smoking these cigarettes, God's going to destroy you. And he can destroy you many ways besides cancer. Right. You understand that, sis? I've been there. I no, mean, sis, do listen to what I just said. I heard what you said. He can saying. destroy you many ways besides that. And, that's right. Right. That's true. and remember, and I, I this ain't my saying. This is what God is telling you. Hey, read that again. Remember, God is speaking to you. You understand it, right? So when God is speaking to you, are you going to make excuses? No. All right, so let, it, let, me, let, me, let me read that to you again. What's your name, sis? Honda. 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 Yeah. Honda. Yeah. Hey, my name is obviously you want to I want you to hear this quick. The book of First Corinthians, chapter three, verse seventeen. Bring it out. If any man defile the temple of God, if, Honda, if you defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. God shall destroy you. There's no getting around that. Oh, I know. I hear what you're saying. His word will not go out void. You understand? Oh, I know. I hear what you're saying. So what you got to do? Oh, I follow His laws. You got to stop that oh, yeah. smoking. Well, you she has not so easy. It's not so easy. You can say with that. Definitely. You say it's not so easy. Hey, sis, guess what? Death, death is permanent. Death is permanent. Stopping is easy. Stopping is easy. Do you love God? Yep, and then I get to be with my son and father. I'm not afraid of death. But you understand that if you sitting there saying I'm not gonna follow his commandments, you're not getting in. Right. But sis, you just said it. Really hot. Watch this. Listen to this, sis. Psalms chapter 119, verse 59. I thought on my ways. You're supposed to be thinking about that right now, about you smoking. What you just heard these my Bible verse saying God said he's going to destroy you. You understand? You're supposed to be thinking about that thing. Instead of sitting there running your mouth, listen to what he's saying. Right. And turn my feet unto thy testimonies. Supposed to turn your mind to this right here, to right. the scripture, or what God is telling you. He's talking to you. You understand? I made haste. You did what? I made haste. You're supposed to make haste to do what? And delayed not to keep thy commandments. To keep that commandment. So when you say it's, it's hard, no, sis. You do it because you're supposed to love the most high. You hey, fear the right. most high. Right. That's the reason why you should be doing it. Right. Okay. Matter of fact, give me, um, do you understand what love is, sis? How do you love God? Listen, I'm going to show you what the Bible will tell you how you love God. You understand? Watch this. The book of 1 John, chapter 5, verse 3. Bring it out. For this is the love of God. For this is the love of God. That we keep his commandments. That we do what? Keep his commandments. Now we break every one. Keep his commandments. We keep making excuses for him. Keep his commandments. That's how you love the most high, by keeping the commandments, sis. That's right. Let me show you about people that say they know God and people who say they love God but don't keep his commandments. Let's find out what God say. You understand? Because keep, you keep making uh, things saying it. that you're going to be there. But listen to what most high said. The book of 1 John chapter 2, verse 4. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments by smoking, by wearing pants, is a liar. Is a what? Is a liar. Read. And the truth is not in him. And the truth is not in you. The truth ain't gonna be in you until you start keeping God's laws. That's so, right. Philippians 4, 13. Give me that Philippians 4, 13. You got to understand something, sis. We all used to be that same way. We used to be whoremongers, dope dealers. We was out here breaking every one of God's laws. But then we repented from that right. thing. You understand? We repented and we started keeping God's laws. That's what you got to do. Give me that. Right. Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. That's what you got to do. All things through Christ. Keep, what did Christ say? Give me uh, John 14, 15. What did Christ tell, tell you? He you said know. something very important. He said if you love him, watch this. 
The book of John, chapter 14, verse 15. Bring it out. If ye love me, keep my commandments. He said, do what? Keep my commandments. Christ said, if you love him, keep the commandments. Understand something. God loves you, sis. Give me that Deuteronomy 1, 7, 6. God loves you. And today, he's bringing you this word. He's bringing this truth. Right. Did you know who you are according to the Bible? We discussed that. Who, who are last you? Last time, the last time I was standing here, because every week I come here. I was every week you come here? Well, like, when I see you. No. Oh, well, maybe. But uh, All right, I'm then who we say you are? You said I'm the uh, Israelite. What you tribe are you from? Me? You can't tell me. You look, said, look here on the sign. Know. Look on the sign. You see yourself right here? African American? No, I was Indian. Oh, you're Indian? Yes. Yo, your father's an Indian? My great grandmother's pure Indian. What is your uh, father? My father's African. That's what that would make you from the tribe of Judas. So. That's right! Hey, I know our people love wanting to be anything except for no. we're black. But no, sis. I'm proud to be black too. Oh, hey, understand it. I'll praise it. Because understand African something. American. You know who else comes from the tribe of Judah? Huh? Uh, uh, who's our Lord and Savior? Jesus Christ. Let me show you that. The book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 14. Bring it out. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Our Lord sprang out of what? Out of Judah. Our Lord sprang out of Judah, sis. Understand right. that. You from the tribe of Judah, the mighty tribe of Judah. Right. Understand right. that. You say that proud. You understand that? Jesus, come from, Jesus Christ come from the tribe of Judah. That's King David, right. King Solomon. We have a raw bloodline. That's right. right. Hey, and this is determined by your father. Matter of fact, give me that numbers one. I want to I'm going to show you that it's, that it's coming by your father, not your mother. The book of Numbers, chapter 1, verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees. You know what the pedigree is, sis? The pedigree is your bloodline. Read. After their families, by the house of their fathers. By the house of your fathers. That's how your bloodline is determined. So understand you're from the tribe of Judah. So next time we see you, say, hey, I'm from the tribe of Judah. I'm an Israelite. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.